All right, the title of this message is No Flesh Should Glory in His Presence. Mm -hmm. No Flesh Should Glory in His Presence. Mm -hmm. Father, right now, I thank you for this time. I thank you for your words. Well, I thank you for being a loving and gracious God who's given us the path to life everlasting by giving us your Son, Jesus Christ. Help us to attain to all the things that he said and all the things that he did so we can look just like you at the end. Help us, Father, to be conformed to the very image of your Son, Jesus Christ. This day, remove all the things that you can't use and place in us more and more the knowledge of your perfect will. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We cast out any evil spirits from over this place, over our hearts, and over our lives, and over this church, and over our city, Father, and over the world you have called us to reach. Mm. We thank you, Father, for your might, your power, and your grace bestowed upon us fresh each and every day. We thank you, Father, for your perfect will being done in, the, in our lives, in this church, starting right now. This is the time. This is the place. Our salvation is here. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We're going to start 1 Corinthians chapter 1. We're going to start with verse 27. But God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world, and things which are despised, hath God chosen. Mm. Yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are. And I want us to realize something before I go on reading. That it's not about the actions that we do from the things that God has chosen. Because many religions all over the world give. Many religions all over the world are humble. Many religions all over the world, they walk in love with their neighbor. Many religions all over the world go to some type of religious institution on a weekly basis. They pray to their God. But I want us to realize that what God is saying, the things that he has chosen, the weak things of the world have power, are the things that are despised amongst the world are powerful because God chose them to be powerful. Mm -hmm. So it's not about me giving. It's not about me um, coming to church and praying and doing all these things just to be doing them. But I'm doing it because God chose those things. Mm -hmm. God chose the weak things of this world mm -hmm. to confound that very world. Let's keep on reading. And base things of the world and things which are despised hath God what? Chosen. Chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. And all this is done that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. That according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. The reason the title of this message is that no flesh should glory in his presence is because if God chose the mighty things amongst the world to save the world, then the world would be justified. The world will say, hey, all this gold, all this silver, all the traditions that we practice, if God would have used those very things to save the world, the very world would have been justified. Saying, you see, all these things we've done, and God even approves of them. That's why it doesn't make any sense to a natural man to have Christ born in a stable. That's why it doesn't make any sense to have Christ coming to Jerusalem on a donkey. That's why it doesn't make sense 
for an everlasting God and an everlasting kingdom for the king of that kingdom to lay down his life. To be despised and rejected. You see, God chose the things that were weak to confound this world of flesh. Let's look again in verse 27. <laughs> but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. See, God chose the things that oppose the flesh to restore the flesh. Come on now. God chose the very things that are weak Come on now. to this world, to our natural man. And he used those very things to restore man himself. And he did it so that no flesh My God. could Come glory on. in his presence. Come, Come on, on, David. You can stay right here, but I'm going to go to Isaiah. 42, 8, right quick. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. God chose the weak things of his world to save us. And no flesh with glory in his presence. Thank you. So by God choosing Humility. Laying down your life. Self-sacrifice. God chose those things to save the very flesh. Because the flesh, it shows the flesh that there's something else out there greater than itself. There's a greater power. See, I can't save the flesh by the flesh. But the Spirit saves the flesh. And God was saying, I can use anything, but I've chosen these things. To show you the flesh of the old man, of the world, of the man that was dead and sin, mm -hmm. that it's another way. So the things that you despise and that you call weak, I will use it for my glory and for your salvation. Mm -hmm. So the question to all of us, do we despise the things that are despised? Mm -hmm. Woo. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Do we despise the very things that are despised amongst the world? Do we despise praying? Do we, des do we despise interceding on behalf of others? Do we despise fasting? Do we despise giving? Do we despise turning the other cheek? Do we despise forgiving people when they don't deserve it? God used these things in order to save us. That's why if you look, let's go to chapter 2 of 1 Corinthians. One chapter over. Luke star verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, mm -hmm. comparing spiritual things with spiritual but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, but they are foolishness unto him. Because neither he can know them because they are spiritually discerned. The flesh despises the things that are despised because the flesh knows that it's ultimately going to lead to its very destruction. So when you're battling to stay focused in the Word of God, when you're battling to stay to show thyself approved, mm -hmm. 